Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are looking at yet another premium footage card. FIFA have been released. I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. EA have been released a lot of, uh, have been releasing a lot of footage premium card, which is actually pretty insane. The cards that they're releasing are really good or sometimes maybe okay. It's nothing like very bad cards. So today we're going to be looking at none other than Malcolm from Al Hilal. He's one of a crazy players. I've seen him play a lot in all of his different previous clubs and even in Al Hilal. Man's actually really, really good. He's a pace merchant. He has five star skill move, four star weak foot, and he plays at right mid position. Now we'll be seeing what his other positions are, what his attributes say, what his stats say, what his play styles and play style pluses are. And after we finish that, we'll put him in a game. I mean, we'll put him in a team and see how he's going to be in a game and whether you guys can use him in rivals or whether he's just going to be there for like a chill, relaxed player or if you guys are better off keeping him as a high rated fodder. Now, without any further ado, let us look at his player details. So, you can play him at right mid, cam, and right wing position. I am going to be playing at right wing position or right mid position, most probably. So, yeah. Now, apart from that, his stats 97 pace, 96 dribbling, and then 91 passing. These three things are the major things that you're going to be focusing on while we're playing with him in game because, as a right midfielder, or as a right winger, or even as a cam, you will want your cam to be very good at passing good pace and good dribbling and even if you are using him at cam you want at least good shooting as well so if you guys can see under shooting 92 shooting he has 97 shot par and then 94 long shot which is really good for a center attacking mid card as well and he has 99 acceleration and 95 sprint speed now as, as soon as we start playing the game we'll get to know whether the 99 acceleration is true or not but i'm really excited to see how his pace is and then under dribbling 96 dribbling he has 96 dribbling 96 ball control 98 agility 99 balance these stats look good these stats look good he has 93 curve as well under passing if you guys can just have a look he gets 92 short pass he gets 85 long pass 90 crossing 95 vision all of these things and then under physical he has 97 stamina and under defending he has 93 heading accuracy defending is a bit woeful i thought at least for a right midfielder it would be a pretty decent interception or even sand tackle at 60 70 would have been pretty good but 40s is <laughs> Oh, oh, but looking at play styles, he has finish shot, he has power shot, he has tiki taka, and he has flair for play styles. Only eight play styles usually we will see for these high rated cards around nine to ten play styles, even sometimes eleven. But we have only eight play styles, so he has four play styles and four play style pluses. For play style pluses, he has trickster plus, he has rapid plus, he has technical plus, and he has incisive incisive pass plus. So now, since we've seen all of these things, uh, it doesn't really matter because on card, anybody can look good. I can, yeah, even I can look good on paper, but uh, am I performing really well? <laughs> we'll test him out in a game, guys. Let me just finish this card. So this is an SBC card. If you guys didn't know, to finish this SBC, you need an 85 rated squad and a Brazilian player in it. So you don't need a team of the season or team of the week. Don't need to worry about it. Just put in all gold with the brazilian players you need to put out of these 11 players i think you need to put like 985 and 284s i think will be good enough or 885s and 384s but yeah so yeah i'll finish this and i'll put him in a team and show you guys his boosted stats i am back guys i am back i've put malcolm in the team and now he has 99 pace how is that even possible i don't know but this is actually insane 99 pace with almost 97 dribbling, I would say after getting his 99 ball control and 99 dribbling, that is actually pretty insane. And even under passing and shooting, if you, you guys can see that he gets some boosted stats because of his three full chemistry on the card. And then you can see all these, you can pause for a bit and see what and all plays he gets actual boosts in. 99 dribbling, 99 ball control is insane. 99 sprint speed, which actually takes pace from 97 to 99, which is actually insane and then he gets 99 short par he gets um, 97 curve 96 short pass he gets 99 vision he gets 96 attacking position all these actually look really good now how good is he gonna be in game i don't know this is the team i'm using as of now i have completed sadio mane i didn't do a player review on him because i have not like actually played with him and yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a player review on Sadio Mane. I am going to be doing a player review on one of the strikers. I have not got him yet. It's not CR7. 
uh, Jimenez, I think it is from SBCs and 86 rated squad. So I'll be doing a player review on him as well soon. I think it'll be tomorrow's video most probably because he's also pretty cheap as compared to like cost for some other players so yeah like i was telling some of these low rated players as well have up, like perform really well in game so that is one of the reasons why i was like bent on doing this particular card this malcolm card otherwise i wouldn't have actually done this malcolm card just because he was like at 85 rated squad i was like okay i have to make a video on him and we have to test him how, test out how he is because for most of the free to play players this will be easy to complete and if he's good then that's a big bonus because we can use him in like in the team for rivals or for squad builds uh, i mean for um, squad battles and stuff i am playing squad battles right now you guys can see like at that corner it says squad battles or this corner whichever corner the scorecard is at it says squad battles just because like i say in every video guys the reason i play squad battles is to test out the abilities of the player it's not to win games it's to test out the abilities like you can see that he has good pace and he has really good dribbling as well look at that pace look at that pace look at that pace now let's be honest if i was playing a, an actual player no i wouldn't have got that much pace but that alone I'll, I'll be telling to you guys like how good is he gonna be how bad is he gonna be all of that will be told in this video so you guys are guaranteed a full-fledged player review it's just gonna be on squad battles but i'll tell you guys if you can use him in rivals as well he has really good passing and really good pace and pretty decent dribbling as well i'm not gonna lie like the pace and dribbling is really good like the ball control as well if you guys i don't know why i keep doing that skill move i just know how to move the analog stick in that direction and he does that pure skill move which i can't control for some reason but so so far i would say he's a pretty good player now i don't know if, how many of you guys will be wanting a player like him like his play style he has only four play style pluses guys you have to keep that in mind like Yes, he's, at, he's available for a cheaper price and for a cheaper squad build compared to all the other players. But is it worth losing out on either one or two more of playstyle plus? So far, I would say he's a pretty decent player. I like. I don't know if I even. I don't know if I will be using him in a in a rivals game, but. He has pretty good pace like after playing for 31 minutes i would say he has pretty good pace he has really good dribbling he has pretty decent like lob pass and crosses and stuff short pass also is really good so far his shooting is not like been tested a lot because i'm not able to score with him he has decent shoot shooting but is it good enough i don't think so so if you want to keep him just for the sake of pace and dribbling then okay but other than that i would not recommend him just save a bit more cards and get sadio mane or somebody else for your left wing i mean for your right wing or right mid i think you guys are better off there i would suggest you guys try to get uh, somebody from the market you know some right winger from the market i think the market has crashed a lot recently you guys can get somebody from the market uh, apply some evolutions and then easily get a cheap good looking card now yeah i would say that is the best path to go if you guys want to still get malcolm done it is actually a pretty decent uh, squad build and pretty decent card but i don't know how he'll be uh in game for you guys according to your play style according to my play style i want to play a lot of attacking football i want to like push and pressurize uh the opponent so far i'm not like malcolm is being very invisible that would what i would say i usually use um rafinha at my right mid position or right wing position in both the positions right mid and right wing rafinha has been really really present and stuff so i would use rafin somebody like rafinha in a right mid position over malcolm 100 percent and yeah i would suggest you guys don't do this sbc just wait out for some more days i'll be doing a bunch of player reviews so if we get a good uh right wing or right mid i will let you guys know in the future video so yeah i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video another footies 
uh, premium player player review in tomorrow's video until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye